a fucking work permit? What's the point of that? Can we just print up some more? Jesus Christ. Look, that's how it works. Those little slips of paper tell us who owes what. All that shit. Hey, Dad, it's making us look weak. To who? The working men. <laughs> fucked. Won't be long before they think they can join in on the fuck. Anyhow, only thing you need to worry about is shooting that colored asshole if he decides to come back. Uh, we got trouble, boys. I'm looking. Guess that's that then. Could have swore he was here. It's only a matter of time. Let's see if I can lure them into the proxies. Come on, come downstairs. That's my Goya. Out of ammo. I've got to reload. Camp off. Jump came from that way. Okay. Then where you want to look? Huh. He's nosing around. Got a body here. Keep nosing around. This whole ain't gonna shit. This is nobody's now. fault but yours. I can't fucking move. Need to reload. Hold on. 
Shots came from that away. God damn it! He got another one! Go see what we're dealing with. He's dead. Crash! I'm ducking down! Go ahead and think you won this one. Let's add 2,000 to the racket. Or me. Fuck you. All right, I'm with you. Vito will be happy to hear that. Ooh, okay. Union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie.
Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. You know, Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. You know, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here. And the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. All right. I do want to go over here really quick. Got to do some vehicle customization. Try to dodge that El Capo looking in the right direction at us. All right, pull through here. Thread <laughs> clumsily thread the needle, but thread nonetheless. I guess we can try to say. In the meantime, let's go ahead and swing on over this way in our new ride. Big Rick. Who told that moron to drive? <laughs> Nobody. Buddy. Berkeley exec or Emson Duke. Let's go ahead and go with the uh, classic right here. That's a big hill. I got another car there for you. Take that one back. I see.
Okay. We do have to pin my ride, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm kind of digging it. Just because I wanted it to go with that interior. I decided on the interior the second I saw it, so I was like, okay. Kind of alright with that. <laughs> Alright, so now that we took out the uh, Union boss and we have successfully imped our ride, I think we are gonna cut it here for the uh, episode.